Before we start this video, please slap that like button, subscribe down below if you are new to the channel, and hit that notification bell. I can't believe it. I made a whole video on how to be a YouTuber, teaching a 10-year-old how to be a YouTuber, and I can't even be a YouTuber. Because the whole damn video I filmed cropped. I've cropped the whole video. How have I managed this? Dear God. Enjoy. All right, so we're here with 10-year-old Cameron. And first of all, you're, you're Stoke fan, so, you're, so, so get out. Get out, get out, right. So, Cameron here, 10 years old, you want to be a YouTuber, mm -hmm. and obviously many people in the world are watching these videos, I want to be a YouTuber as well. That's your, that's your dreams, aspirations. You look at someone like me as like the god of YouTube, of course. No. Yeah. Cause you're a Leeds fan. <laughs> oh my god, right, okay. Right, then, let's not go into this debate. Everyone's dreams and aspirations nowadays, they want to be a YouTuber, you know. Like, you don't want to be stuck in like, your 9 to 5, do you? Not my dad. Oh, okay, right, we're not gonna go there, but borrowing shots already. See, I know you're talented, I know you're creative, there's nothing wrong with, you know, going down the normal route of getting education, you know, getting a job, but I feel like you've got to work on your potential. You have, you have a lot of potential to be a YouTuber, and I know a lot of people that obviously watch my videos want to be YouTubers as well. So we're going to just talk about, show you the basics and what you need to start YouTube, how to be, you know, camera confident. You haven't really been on camera before. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna start off, we'll probably start off with the, with the light. This right here is a soft box light. Very, very bright. I, trust me, I have to, I have to, that's what I have to go through. The pain is very hot every time I record. So. <laughs> exactly, and as we can see here, if you turn the light off, it just doesn't give that glow effect. You want that nice James Charles glow effect. Now, but anyway, these are that pricey, not expensive. This is like 30 pounds from Amazon. You can get it for cheaper for like 20 quid or even less. And have one that goes on top of the camera. They just it just makes everything look professional, like not as if you're just filming on a small thing. Uh, we're gonna talk about loads of different things. First of all, in, in terms of camera confidence and things like that, for me it's always when you start and anyone else starts, it's just gonna it's gonna be like scary, you're gonna be timid, you're gonna be shy. But what you've got to realise is that when I look down this lens, I know I've got 1,000 plus people looking at me, but you don't you don't really see that, it's just a lens, it's just a camera. And whatever happens, you can cut it out. So it's not like it's live, it's not like you have to do everything perfect. You can cut anything. Like I can say, like I can just say and that, that could be censored. Like don't compare yourself to other people, I always say that. So if you look at someone as huge like Mr. Beast or PewDiePie or KSI, all these people, or Logan Paul, they, they all started exactly the same position you were. And you've probably got an advantage more than me, you're 10 years old, I probably started around 12 or 13, I think maybe 13 years old I started. But you've got an advantage. People online, like, especially like kid channels and stuff, like kids doing gaming or doing challenges, they get a lot of views as well, but we'll talk about that soon. So you want to be a superstar, so I think we're going to move on to the equipment we have here. First of all, I want to say that the camera we're using here is a Sony, um, Sony AS Mark III, I believe, which is it's a very good camera. I would not recommend you getting it straight away because obviously it's an expensive camera as well, very pricey. I'm not going to say the price. But to start off, for me, the Canon, I mean, I started off really bad, but now there's better options. I want to say before we go into cameras, literally your phone can be used as a camera. If you have an iPhone, have a Samsung, cameras nowadays are so good quality, as you know, like they're getting better and better smartphones. You, you're able to shoot 1080p or even better 4K on, on your phone. So if you want to just do vlogs or if you want to just make a quick game or video have a face cam, your phone's always an option. If you want to do go if you do want to go for the camera, you know, and you do you know save up some money or you get gifted a camera, I'd say the Canon G7X Mark II, probably one of the best ones at the market. A lot of people nowadays like you probably think this is not that much. Right? It's, it's like 500 quid but I mean you big YouTubers wouldn't use this. But everyone uses this. Very easy to set up. Literally, also the Gorilla Pod is very good as well. So what you can do is screw this on like that. These memory cards you'll get in a while. You probably know what these are. Yeah. Well, maybe you do. Yeah, they're memory cards. These are these are small micro uh, SD cards. Um, they're easy to put in. Put in in that camera to run that camera now. I would recommend you get like a decent amount size, like 32 gigabyte and stuff. You don't need to worry about that for now. Just get a, even a 16 gigabyte one's good. It's as easy as flip up. And this one's better than that because, as you can see, look, we're recording now. There you are. Look, the YouTube sensation, hopefully. But as you can see, it's so it's just so easy to set up. Like that was a bit more. It's on a tripod, but this is just hands-free. You do your video, or even with this stand as well, you can put it out. You can place it on a table like so, like that. And do you know what I mean? 
So it's very, very handy having something like this. It's just easy to move about, very durable. I don't know why I'm saying durable, but it's just very easy to use, you know what I mean? So moving on to these cameras here, we'll start off by looking at this one here. Look at this one here. This is a camera, one of the first cameras I had is my dad's camera. So it's a photography camera. That's a mistake I made. Do, do not get a photography camera if you are going to choose to get a camera. Um, it would be pointless. So I think I just put it there just to show you I had a camera. But obviously you can have some small cameras like this. And you can have some big cameras like these two obviously that do. They're more for like maybe professional shoots. But you don't need to worry about spending money. Like, I think people, you probably think you need to spend a lot of money to start YouTube. But you really don't. Like some like people just made have, have made it and made loads of money just in their bedroom. You know what I mean? So moving on as well, we have other equipment such as these. These are very very essential. So you know what this is? USB stick. Yeah. Easy. Put in your footage for the videos, your footage for the gameplay, anything like that will go on one of these. As well as that, you got your. You want? You was asking what this is before. That, that looks like a power bank, honestly. It looks like a power bank. What this is, sorry if I'm talking too much by the way, external hard drive. So this is basically like, like the USB, but just a bigger version. So this is one terabyte, so you get loads and loads and loads and loads of footage and loads of storage on here. And you keep this like as like a backup, so everything you have in your laptop, all your computer, all your footage, you keep on a backup on this. Like I have on here all my logo designs from about my Zini logo and everything. So I think it's handy to have one of these as well. You can pick one up from Amazon for not that price either. Moving on as well, you said you want to get into gaming. What games do you like? FIFA. FIFA, you're a FIFA. So I'm right. I got addicted to that, but then I also hated it because of, you know, the rage. Because I just, it, it, it's, it's that, it gets me angry. But either way, this here is a HD60S. It's a game capture device by Elgato. It's cost me like 60 quid or something. But these are all things that you don't need straight away. Like on PS4, the good thing about PS4, you can you can record straight away. I'll show you, I saw you showed you before, and I'll show you, we'll show you soon. You can record by easy just using the share thing. On Xbox, I think you can do the same as well. You, what do you use? PS4? PS4, yeah, so that's gonna be pretty easy for you to set up. But if you wanna do something on a computer, if you do get to the stage of you have a laptop or a computer, you download OBS, which is a free thing, which will be on the computer, we'll talk about in a minute. You hook this up. Very easy, simple to use, and like most of this equipment I have, I'm never really like. I'm never like. It's not just like you're given talent that you know everything. You just learn from just doing like watching YouTube videos. So I know it seems very complicated, but you go on YouTube, you type in like how to, like how to videos are the best thing because like it literally tells you how to do something within a couple of minutes. Like how to connect uh, or stream via OBS or something. So that's other options as well. Also, we have these are the larger SD cards. So these are the these are the big macro SD cards, and these are like 64. That's their gigabyte ones. They're for like them bigger cameras. Now, laptop wise, I personally have a MacBook because I'm a Mac person, Apple person. I wouldn't probably get the hate for that. But do you, if you don't have a laptop or computer, that's completely fine. There's literally software on your phone, like on on the App Store, where you can edit. Like you know that. There's like apps you can use that you can edit from your phone, you can transfer onto your phone and edit from there. Or you, need, you can even edit on the PS4. But well, there was an application you saw before, didn't, it? didn't you? You can edit on there and post straight to YouTube. So if you are on a budget, that would make sense. But do you have a computer of some sort? No. At home? No, well, exactly. So for you, there's a great example, and probably many people out there as well, that you know, that you just want to have the basics for now, and then you can move on. You got all the equipment basically gifted to you because you've got your PS4, you've got the, it's already installed on there, you've got your phone, you can use like editing software on there as well. And it's pretty decent to be fair, like it started off bad but now they're getting more developed, they're getting pretty good right now. That looks like some 90s radio recording. <laughs> exactly, it does look like some 90s radio recording. It's a Blue Yeti mic, it did cost about £100 when I bought it like three or four years ago. It's done, it's done me well, I think. Fun fact, the rapper Logic actually recorded his whole, one of his albums on one of these, literally on his back, but these, this is very good for sound. I went for that option just because I just saw it had good reviews, but there's literally, you can buy microphones online for like, literally 20 quid, 10 pounds, and they're quite a decent one, so don't always have to go for something like this, but a microphone or a shotgun mic that would like go on top of the camera. It's something to definitely look at because when you go outside as well, like let's say you're doing vlogs outside, you see people doing challenges, it's going to be wind, so you get like a muffler and a wind mic thing, so you don't get that 
you know, a blowing sound on the mic. You don't get that. I'm talking about your social medias as well. I don't know, very difficult for you to understand, but you will get a hand of it. I mean, you mean, you use social media probably, don't you? Yeah. Social media, but like, you grew up with it. And I, 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 did, I did to an extent, but also I was still there around someone who was no social media. It's very, probably one of the most powerful things nowadays, just for anything, like if you want to be a content creator, influencer, anything, especially a YouTuber. You need to be having, like you've obviously got your personal accounts for Cameron, but you also have, you know, your own, like let's say whatever your channel name is, Cameron Gaming, or for me, in Zingy, I have my own Twitter, so separate to my personal like, life with my friends in it. And if you're one of those people that, you know, you don't want your friends to know straight away, like I know you discussed this, and that was the same with me when I started out, you don't want people to know, it's a bit nerve wracking. We'll get on with the confidence in a minute, but the good thing about that is that you don't, you can just put in another name where they won't know, or they won't search you. Go to social media, set up all your accounts, and literally just post, like even if it's once a day, post one tweet about something you're doing. Uh, in terms of YouTube wise, put hashtags in, they're very important as well. Uh, tweet about what's happening in the news maybe, or you know, what's happening in the YouTuber news, like what YouTubers have done what, what games have done what, maybe put your thoughts in it. People like that. Uh, obviously, don't expect it to blow up overnight. It doesn't happen often, as much as people think, but it will come around, like you just gotta keep consistent. Because I always say, Consist consistently be persistent. And that's a bit difficult to understand, but it's like just keep going at it as much as you know you, you think. Like, I've been doing YouTube so many years, and I'm only at a thousand, but I'm not stopping. I could easily, there's so many times I've wanted to give up, like, but not to go down the inspirational route. But you know, I just kept on going because I know eventually it will pay off. So, as well as that, so the reason why social media is so good, like, if you go to Facebook, I would, I would say Instagram and Twitter are the main ones. Like, obviously, YouTube is a platform in itself, but I mean, in terms of social media. And posting things, YouTube and Fa Instagram, sorry, and Facebook are very good. Snapchat, I was heavy on it. It's people are still popping on it, uh, but I feel like it's more just like a friend's personal use. Facebook, I personally don't use Facebook that much. However, I do use it for YouTube only because there's like it's like business. That's what YouTube is essentially. Like you, you're marketing your own business, so you join the groups on there. There's other people just like you that just started. You can post your content saying like check this out, you know what I mean, like if you post a video and they'll, you know, they can subscribe to your channel. I would say don't do sub for sub. You know, you know, you know what that means? What do you think that means? No, have no clue. Have no clue, that's alright. Sub for sub is basically where like people will spam in like forums saying sub for sub. So you sub to my channel, I sub to yours. It doesn't work. What happens is they, they subscribe to your channel but then you sub to them but then they will unsub from you. So you're not really getting anything and it's not a really efficient way because it doesn't mean they're your fan. If you are fans of your content, they will willingly at their own merit go and subscribe to you. But yeah, just connecting with people in general with social media is really important. Like, it just knows that you're, you're not the only one doing it. Thousands, probably millions of people your age even as well making content and somebody out there is going to like your stuff. And it's good as well because things can blow up, especially on sort of like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Like, people can clip your stuff, use it, it could blow up, whatever you like, you never know. Talking about confidence now on camera, I think, like, if you are worried, like, you are as well, and we all are, it's not, not even a bad thing, because unless you're a really charismatic person, like, just in general, but not many people are, like, just, people watching this, even if they don't want to do YouTube, they'll say, oh, it's easy doing this. But it's not as easy as you think, is it? Like, exactly, it's not as easy, it's a lot of things, it's complicated, right? It's like as easy as managing Stoke. Oh, wow, okay, it probably, yeah, so it's very hard is what you're trying to say, managing Stoke. But, if you don't don't want people, if you're at school, if you're younger, if you're at college or uni, wherever you are, if you want people to know, I feel like if there's one regret I had, I wish I told people, even though I'm sort of contradicting myself. Because if I told people, then the word would spread, spread across and you'd get more following. Yes, you're going to get that initial however many people that say something to you, like they did with me in school, but then over time they realise that actually you make decent videos and it, it, sort of mo it was my motivation to make better videos. So I would go to school and like, even though people would, you know, take the mic a little bit and stuff, but like as a joke, but because my con that's why you got to make sure your content's good so people don't say that. Because there's a lot of people doing it, but you've got to stand up from the rest and a lot of people, after a long time, they love they love my content. I'll just go into school, go into class, and there'll be loads of people watching on the screens, watching my video, like in tutor. It was, 
and be mad, but having that like as motivation is good because you want to like impress everyone essentially. So we all we all love attention to an extent. But yeah, if you want to just start off though with no one knowing, you can. But just know that it's like you're gonna have your the whole reason you're doing this is to have eyes on you eventually. Yeah, I tell people. Yeah, exactly. Is that that's very good being confident because even though you don't feel confident, it'll eventually gonna come out. And it's either gonna come out now or it's gonna come out in five years. And I would do it as early as possible. That's probably something I wish I'd done when I was your age. Is picked up a camera, started vlogging or making like football videos or something, and just started like telling people like it doesn't matter who it is like tell your family your friends everyone and you'll get over the fact that like people care you got one thing you got to have is thick skin you heard that phrase yeah yeah so you got to like you're going to get criticism from people a couple of things you got to realize most of these people that type away comments keyboard warriors whatever they're most likely 5 years old they're very mature probably younger than you and they just do it because they've got nothing else better to do in your life. And you should take it as a compliment because people are actually noticing you. If you wasn't getting noticed and you got like one comment just saying, oh, that was good, then that's almost like having yes men around you. Like that's like, it's not doing any good. Also, do not shut down uh, constructive criticism or, or feedback. Like, people are telling you, if someone's literally hating on you, like you are stupid or something, then you should leave it. Like this shouldn't affect you. But it, it did affect me at the start, I was crying. No, it, it does affect you, I guess, to an extent, but you just gotta forget about it. It's like, there's gonna be. Think about YouTubers, like, who's your favourite YouTuber? I don't have one. You don't have one? I mean, most of the games are so Most of the games, let's say, let's say Ninja, for example. Ninja, he probably gets, in every every video post probably gets that about 10,000 people saying, like, horrible things to him. But at the end of the day, like, he, you know that he's mostly gonna get more positives than negatives. Got to take it on the chin, but if someone's telling you like, oh, maybe you should try this in your video, and obviously, I always reply to my comments, good or bad. Like, I always try to get back to everyone because people, it's like engagement. That's very important as well. Call you in five. That's professional. That is <laughs> what? Wow, I've just been roasted in my own little video. That's one thing as well. I very like. My phone is constantly blowing up with messages or notifications or whatever. One thing you gotta do, which I haven't done, which you did pick on, leave your just leave your phone there. Do not like don't worry about who's messaging you. When you're in the zone, like when I was actually in the zone, I've been uploading every day this year. You probably you will watch my videos. Wow. I'm quite offended, you know. No, I'm joking, but I upload every day. Um, I put in a lot of work, like when it's the YouTube time, like when it's chilling out time, you chill out, but my priority in the day, every day, is I'm going to make a YouTube video, and I'm going to make it to the best as I can. As long as you put your best in, you will eventually get that in. like it's impossible, you, it's manifestation, you've got to put it out into the universe, you'll get, it, you'll get it back eventually. But there's loads of other things I could talk about, I could talk about this for years, you're probably thinking, like, like is it my bedtime yet, because I've been, he's, got, he's looking at the rot, and the watch, the roadie, but... There's a lot of things I can talk about, but you know we can discuss more things. And if people do want to see, like obviously, me, videos of me teaching them, I can teach them as well. I can you know help them grow from literally zero subscribers, like I was once once was, to thousand subscribers. You just gotta remember, keep keep doing what you have to do, put in the work. Also, make sure you have fun. It's very easy to like hop on the trend of doing what other people want to do, like I have before, and not enjoying yourself. Like even though something you think something's gonna get views, like whatever you love doing, you love playing FIFA, right? Yeah. You love playing Hitman. Play those games because as long as you're enjoying it, there'll be a niche out there of other people. Like, there's loads of people that play FIFA that will enjoy your content. Uh, that's everything. So you are gonna be a YouTuber in five years. You gotta tell yourself that every day. Okay. All right. I'll forget that by next week. Oh my god. No, honestly, you got you honestly gotta tell yourself that. As much as you, it's easy to doubt yourself. You're gonna become a YouTuber. I believe in you. I believe in you. Wow, I've just been absolutely yeeted. But yeah, that's been it for today's video. And then also, what you've got to do is tell people, like, can't be too cringy about it, but to subscribe. Hit that's, that like that, button. That's just cringy. Is it that? Oh, maybe I just shouldn't even do this video again. No. That's just begging. No, you honestly have to do it though, I promise you. I didn't used to do it, it helps a lot. Because it just reminds somebody, like, if you're not hitting that subscriber to this channel, especially my channel, then there is an actual issue with human race. Yeah. 
We all like and don't forget to subscribe. No, no not in not, not in like the American voice, alright? Well, that's what most people are like. Though. Yeah, that's true. But just tell them nicely. Like you can subscribe. However, you can unsubscribe if you just don't like this or you think this is like is is poo. And I'm saying poo because you know after you get over a thousand, you've got to be getting extra monetized. PG. That's a big thing. We're gonna discuss more about this. Thank you for watching. Also, tell them to hit that bell. Like that's what they gotta do. They gotta hit that bell. So gross stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. Chat about the impressive. I know. Try not to be a sociopath about it, but they'll listen. You know, because they're brainwashed. I'm joking. They're just but in their also, ask for feedback. Like, what what do they want to see from this video? What do you want to see from this video? You know, that will help you, like, with what you want to do, what type of content you make. And also, I just realised why have we been standing all this video? We could just be sitting down, lying. Like, and you're squashing your cat. Oh my god, I'm I'm dead. Sorry, video. And then you just sign out, like, whatever you want to say. Bye, see ya in a bit. Cool, yo. I don't know. Like, you just sign out. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm actually done. And then also, the last thing you want to do is infamous. Like, it has to be. What's going on here? There's going to have to be so much editing on this. I know, but the last thing we've got, last thing we've got to do, it has to be done in every video, is do a thumbnail. Alright, you're going to look stupid, alright? At the end of the day, like, they don't see us making thumbnails, but they, they will now. But, you right, stand there, stand there. A uh, bit right more. That's it. you got to get the positioning right. Now, You've got to, you've got to act like surprise. Do that surprise face. Oh Just act surprise. And then I, I will. This is gonna be the cringiest thing on earth. Yeah, it will do. But actually, no, it won't. No, well, I, I, I've got faith. I've got faith. Oh my, it's a Right, just, just look surprised. Trust me. No, it won't. Everyone does it. Every YouTuber does it. Just look like sub semi surprised, at least to the camera. No, you've got to look more surprised. You've got to look more surprised. Come on. You've got to be like. And then you ho hold this now. This YouTube video doesn't get off. If you hold this out like that, up, up a bit more. Wait, right. stand there. This YouTube video. Yes, yes, stand, stand like that and hold that out. There you go. That's a thumbnail. Right, I'll tell you now. This is YouTube. It doesn't get a hundred likes. I'm going to hit you with this. Well then, it needs to get a hundred likes. Now your vids hold no weight Like Titanic channel sinking to the ground Talking your piece on the web Karma always come around Eating up these W's Can't you see I have the crown Feasting on your enemies Dead and buried in the ground Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found Your shit inconsistent I don't really fuck around Put some respect on my name You playing with the hounds I've been waiting I've been saving all these bullets All these rounds I don't wonder why this hate All this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit Wearing the crown Flooding all you hate is you ain't shit, now you left to drown